loud. I'm trying to make a video. What is going on guys? My name is Bryce Till. Welcome to my outdoor channel. Today I'm going to be using that Do It Molds crappie flute mold and making a color called Electric Chicken and then later on this week my brother-in-law Robert and my buddies Ryan and Ray are going to be out at Lake Eufaula and we're going to be doing a little bit of crappie fishing, probably doing a little bit of cat fishing as well and I asked them what color they wanted me to make and they said make electric chicken so I'm going to give it my best shot. Stay tuned. Let's see what happens. So I've already got a third of a cup of uh, Plastisol in my uh, Pyrex and we're going to be using the Dead on Plastics Swim Bait Jerk Bait Blend to make these baits. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the microwave and then we can start adding our colorant and shooting these baits. Alright, so we're going to use a little bit of, uh, this is MF non-bleed green chartreuse about 15 drops Put about 10 more drops in, make it a little thicker. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Then we're going to be adding some of this MF Night Glow Green Powder. Should make it glow in the dark since we're probably going to be fishing at night. Get that good and stirred in. And then check our temperature and we should be ready to, oh, now we gotta add the glitter too. Silver hologram glitter. Let's heat that back up and we should be ready to shoot. So I can draw this up around the camera. Go ahead and shoot it. Hold a little bit of pressure. And 
top off that sprue. All right, I'll check back whenever these are done. All right, let's take a look and see what we got. Not quite as green as I'd like it to be, but hmm. I'll be able to fix that. All right, so let's see what we got now. After I shot that first batch, it wasn't quite green enough for my liking at least. So I added about four drops of dead on plastic green colorant. That was probably too much, but can't go back now. So let's uh, see where we're at. I don't know, that's pretty close. So that's what the tails are going to look like. I'm going to go ahead and finish shooting these and then I'll be back whenever I'm ready to shoot the bodies. All right, so I got all the tails poured and we're going to go ahead and put them in the mold and then we will shoot the bodies. And in case you didn't see the last video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put these in the mold. And uh, hopefully with the tripod, this will be a little bit better camera angle if you did see the last video hopefully you can see it a little bit better if I show you this way so pretty easy um, make sure that you get the the fork part of the tail separated and just set them in the mold and push them down kind of tricky sometimes trying to get them in the right spot but just be a little bit patient sorry I keep bumping the camera Put them in the back and just kind of press them down and slowly work that fork tail into the slots. Make sure that you got it all the way in there. And it should be in pretty good shape. I lost count of how many tails I shot, but it was probably somewhere close to 70. I was really just seeing how many I could get out of that third of a cup of Plastisol. And then I went to pour the rest of the Plastisol in my other Pyrex cup, and I have just under a third of a cup, so I probably won't get all of these, be able to use all these, because I'm gonna run out of Plastisol shooting the bodies but we'll see how many I can get. Come on, get in there. All right, once you've got them all in there, you can close the mold up. And then there we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and mix the rest of the color and then we'll get these things shot and see how they turn out. All right, so we got our Plastisol warmed up and we're gonna add a little bit of Dead On Plastic Neo Pink. Not 
10 drops right there. Wow. Hmm, that is almost purple. not looking like I want it to um, that's almost a purplish color so I'm gonna put some of this uh, this dead on plastics uh, fluorescent pink in there we're gonna see if we can there's about 10 drops of that getting a little closer. Oh yeah, okay, we're getting there. This is a Do It Moles fluorescent pink, I don't know. I think I called it dead on plastic. This is do it moles fluorescent pink. All right. And then just a couple of drops of MF white. to try to make it a little bit. Less bright. A couple more drops of that and I think we got something. I can probably work with that. Go ahead and pop that in the microwave and then shoot these and see how they turn out. All right, let's go ahead and shoot these. All right, let's see what we got. All right, well, I feel like that's not too bad. Pink's pretty close to where I want it to be. Maybe just a little bit brighter than I wanted it to be, but I'm happy with that actually. And these two on top, they didn't quite fill in all the way, but that's not a problem because when they're soft like that, just rip the tail off, remount the tops, and I just get to shoot them again. So, 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep shooting these baits. I'll be back whenever they're all done. All right, so there you have it. That is 44 electric chicken crappie flukes. And for my first time attempting this color, I kind of like how they turned out. If you guys like this color and like how these baits turned out, hit the like button. If you guys are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you guys have any ideas of any colors that you'd like to see me try to pour using this crappie fluke mold, leave me a comment. Let me know what colors you'd like to see me make. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it.